Okay, so in this class, we'll discuss these three questions, which is the next test portion, 6.2b, okay? Let's start with this uh, question A3, okay, on your textbook, page 133, uh, okay? In the given figure, if PC is parallel to QE and BP parallel to DQ, then we have to find AB by BD. So let's just draw the diagram first. The diagram looks something like this. Like this, okay, so let us just join them. And here we have two lines that are parallel to the base lines here, okay. So this one, A, B, C, and then here D, here Q, and E, here P. From here to here it is given as 2 cm, which means SC, and from here to here. As you can see in the diagram, for yourself this is 8 cm, this much is given, okay. Let so us write down given, means given in the question, okay. In this figure, or in the figure, that is drawn just now, <coughs> PC is parallel to QE and BP is parallel to DQ and we have to find a B by BD equal to what? This is our question and there's a multiple choice down given after we solve we'll get that. Now let's start with this mm, here very clearly in triangle AQE or AEQA QE this triangle here we see here this portion here PC is parallel to QE because it is given in the question for us right see here PC parallel to QE so in this triangle these two lines are parallel so by that we can write here mm, uh, here AQE so AQE so we can write here AC by CE and write like that is equal to this one here SC by CE will be equal to AP by PQ AP by PQ because we know by using basic proportionality basic proportionality theorem we know that if a line is parallel to one side of the triangle then that line will divide the two sides that it cuts in the same ratio that's the basic proportionality theorem that's divided into the same ratio means AP by PQ will be equal to SC by CE or SC by CE equal to AP by PQ. So SC is here. You can just continue to write that in place. SC we can just keep it for the time being just same and CE here. We can write it also as AE minus SC. So AE full line minus SC. And this one can be same uh, AP by PQ. You can just keep it same AP by PQ. See here. This portion here CE can be written as the full line AE minus this 2 cm SC will give you CE. So we can change it in this form in this form, right? So next, as we do that, that implies here SC is 2 cm very clearly on the diagram. Also we can see SC and AE here we can see in the diagram 8 cm minus SC again 2. So that's what we're getting is equal to AP by PQ. AP by PQ. Okay. Then here we're going to get here that implies 2 centimeter divided by 8 minus 2 is 6 centimeter, which is equal to AP by PQ. Right. So next here. This centimeter can cancel and two ones are two, two three. So that gives you 
AP by PQ, this one can be written as 1 by 3, let us keep this one as 1. Okay. So again here, also in this triangle here, the next triangle, we have taken AQE. Now let us take ATQ in triangle ADQ. Here AB by BD, AB by BD. AB by BD will be equal to AP by PQ. AP by PQ. The reason is the same using basic proportionality theorem because we know here if you want to write then we know this BP parallel to DQ. BP parallel to DQ. It's given here. Because of that, we can apply basic proportionality theorem just like as the same reason. So here that gives you AB by BD will be equal to AP by PQ. If you look here, it's 1 by 3. So we can replace that by 1 by 3 and we write here since using equation number 1. So your right answer here is this to your answer choice, which match this one. 1 by 3 is the first one. In your textbook one by three so that's our answer so we've done three let's go to four and four so question number a4 let me read the question for us in trapezium a b c d a B parallel to DC all this, so let's just draw the diagram first. This is a trapezium. A trapezium is a four-sided figure like this, in which a pair of opposite sides are parallel. In this case, this A B parallel to DC opposite sides. Any two pair of opposite sides in a four-sided figure parallel is called a trapezium. The other two may or may not be parallel. Okay. So let us write here given and then the diagonal are joined in the diagram. So let us join this here and this one here. They cut each other here at all. This is given as 6 cm and this given as 9 cm as given in the diagram and another question. So given in trapezium A, B, C, D here mm, A, B is parallel to DC, then AB is equal to 9 centimeter, and DC is equal to 6 centimeter, and then finally BD is equal to 12 centimeter, and we have to find BO. So BO is the question mark, this portion here. BO. So let us do this. Since here we know. Okay, so let us write here. In triangles. And we are going to take this, okay? And in this format, <clears throat> we have to. Or we let us do like this so that we understand this one clearly. Mm, AB parallel to DC because it is given to us. So if these two lines are parallel, imagine this here, they are cut by this line, let us say, then this is angle 1, and let us say this is 2. So this angle and this angle are alternate, so we can write here, <coughs> angle 1 is equal to angle 2, because they are alternate angles. When the lines are parallel, the alternate angles are equal, In question number 1, let us say. Then here, angle 3, these two lines are parallel. Now cut this time by this image in 3 and here 4, let us say. So let us write here, angle 3 equal to angle 4. Since again, there are, same reason, alternate angles. And then 5 and 6, let us say. Let's put the O here, 6. So angle 5 equal to angle 6. This is very obvious. <coughs> angle 5 equal to angle 6 because they are 
vertically opposite angles equation number three and two lines cut each other these are called vertically opposite angles and they are equal so we now have now here we can do something about this now therefore we can write here in now this is what is important in similar triangles okay in triangles suppose you take this one here they also here <coughs> suppose you go like this here uh, a o b the first one you can just go the way you like it but the other one has to be corresponding to the first so you took a vertex first means that is corresponding four is corresponding to three so you have to go to right there c first then o means angle six and five is there are two equal so next c means you also we have to go to o and then here mm, c d here angle c sorry a o b so third place is b the third letter so b here two is equal to one so the vertex at angle one point is d so we have to write it correctly what i mean is you cannot write like this a o b and then you just write your d o c this one then the vertex ver vertices will not be corresponding and you will not you will get the uh, next steps wrong writing the sides and the angles so when we do similar triangles the vertex has to be corresponding a corresponds to c second letter o second letter correspond b and d this order has to be got gotten correctly from the beginning so in these two triangles here we can start writing angle one inside uh, angle two inside this one a o b here is equal to angle one inside this triangle because you get this one using equation c2 equal to 1 is equation 1 then here next mm, anyone you can do 2 equal to 1 now here uh, angle 4 inside this triangle is equal to 4 is equal to 3 because you get this one from using equation number Two. then finally angle six inside this triangle we took this one a o b first this way angle six inside this triangle equal to angle five you can see here so we have given the reasons for this previously so you write here using equation number three okay so and there one condition of similarity that says that if in two triangles the three angles, two angle, four angle, six, that are inside the first triangle are equal to the three angles in the second triangle. Surely then the two triangles will be similar. So we write here therefore triangle A O B similar to triangle C O D by this condition called triple A similarity condition. Similarity condition which says that if in if the three angles in the first triangle are equal to the three angles in this next triangle those two triangles are similar that is a statement of the triple a similarity triple a here means angle angle three angles are equal now we know that property of similar triangles there are two properties i'm going to repeat today also so when two triangles are similar the properties that will follow are corresponding angles are equal and not only that, corresponding sides are proportional. These two conditions will be true only when the two triangles are similar first. Now they are already similar, so we can apply these two. But in this case, we don't need the first one, so we'll go to the corresponding sides. What do we mean when corresponding sides are proportional? It means you take the first two letters, AO, then also here, CO, that is corresponding. A O first two letter and C D that is not corresponding. Then next second and third letter O B and here also second and third letter O D. Or you can write B O O D O B O D or B O D O up to you. Then the first and third letter A B and here first and third letter C D. So we can get three ratios dividing the first side of the first triangle by the first side of the second triangle second side 
by second side of the two triangles, third, we can get three because the a triangle has got three sides, so we can get three ratios. So corresponding sides are proportional. The word proportional means these ratios will be equal. Proportional simply means the ratios are equal. So these three ratios of the sides. Ratio means division of same type, side of triangle by side of triangle. So these three ratios will be equal is the meaning of proportional. I repeat, proportional means the ratios are equal. These three ratios. Okay, so we'll just pick out the ones we want here. Now here, given to you is here A, B and D, C. We have to use the 9 and 6. So A, B and this one you can write. A, B and C, D you can just keep it. Then what do we need? We don't need all the three ratio. We need to find B, O. So the one containing B, O is this one. So we write here. O, B means same as B, O by O, D or D, O. So we pick this second and third ratio. And then we just leave out this one. Not wrong, but we don't need this one. So next, we're going to write here the reason for this. If just before that, you write like this, BO by DO equal to AB by CD. And before this, why you wrote this? This is very important to give reason because we know corresponding sides of similar triangles are always proportional and proportional means the ratios are equal that's why we wrote this three ratios putting equal sign because equal sign means proportional so bo we don't know yet okay bo that's what we need and do here you see do we can write like this or not bd full line minus bo bd minus bo is do same right is equal to AB here, if you see here, AB is 9 cm by CD or DC, same thing only, CD here or DC here is 6 cm, so we can write that, okay, then you can cancel these two, and 3 3s are 9, 3 2s are 6, we can keep it like that, now BO we don't know yet, so just write it, by BD, we have given in the question here, see 12, that's why we change in terms of BD, DO equal to BD minus BO, so 12 centimeter minus BO is equal to here, 3 by 2, 3 by 2. Then we can go here, that implies, now you see, we can just cross multiply this down and up or up and down, 2 into BO, 2 BO is equal to 3 into 12, 36 centimeter minus uh, 3 into BO, 3 BO. So down and up after the equal sign. Then up and down or down and up? Down and up or up and down. So 3 into 12, 36. 3 into BO, BO. Then we bring the BOs on one side. So 2 BO. Bring this one this side. Then plus 3 BO is equal to 36. is not shifted. Same side, centimeter. So that gives you here. 2 plus 3, 5 BO is equal to 36 centimeter. So that gives you BO will be 36 divided by 5 will shift it and comes down. And 5 7s are 35, 1 in hand. Point then 10, then 5 2s are 10. So BO is 7.2 centimeter. So the answer choice that match this one on the textbook is the third one, which is 7.2 centimeter so this is the question number for a4 okay i hope you understood that right so next b1 so question number b1 Go and read the question for us. In the figure there, one and two, we have to find those values. So let's just draw the diagram first. First diagram is like this. So here, there's a line that cuts at D and E. This is your A, B, and this is your C. This is 3 centimeter 
very clearly given and here 1.5 centimeter and this is one centimeter okay and the second diagram like this cutting a line is cutting a D and E again and then this is A, B and C B and C and then here this is 7.2 centimeter and this is 1.8 centimeter and this portion AE and then this one 5.4 centimeter okay right down here given given to us is mm, in figures this is one okay and this is given as two figures one and two one and to here DE is parallel to BC okay you have to find EC in one figure one and then AD in figure two AD in figure two and EC in figure one so let's take one by one the rest of the values are given to us so here taking the first one in uh, triangle ABC in figure one here you see here this one here this line DE is parallel to BC since it is given these two lines are parallel is given to us Right, so then if one line is parallel to one side of the triangle, that line will cut the other two sides in equal ratio means uh, we can also AE by CE equal to AD by DB or we can also write CE by down also you can start CE by AE or EC, whatever you like, EC or CE is same, EC here, EC by AE, like that also you can write, so if you started from this one EC, then here also down, DB by AD. And the reason for this is because using here basic proportionality, basic proportionality theorem. So that gives you, as we continue doing this one, you're going to get here EC if you see here is unknown that's what we're searching by AE is one centimeter is equal to here DB as you can see DB here 3 by uh, 1.5 so 3 centimeter by 1.5 centimeter so we can cancel this too right here EC don't move that and 1 into 3 is 3 and centimeter will go up this will go up right then divided by 1.5 now having decimal in denominator is difficult to deal so one plus the decimal so we'll multiply by one zero then the decimal will move here for that we have to put up also so three tens are 30 by this zero will push the decimal one plus right become 15 so 15 twos are 30 so the answer for the first one is ec is two centimeter okay so here likewise in triangle the next one ABC in the figure 2 this one just like we did here we can just write this one here AD by DB is equal to AE by EC or CE by EC by AE also this by this equal to this by this or this AD by DB equal to AE by EC just like we wrote and the reason is again using basic proportionality theorem so we just write there do because it's the same theorem we're using so that implies ad we don't know yet that's what we have to find in the second one ad in two 
by DB is 7.2, so I do 7.2 centimeter. And AE, as you can see, 1.8 centimeter divided by EC is 5.4. So these two cancelled. And then here, AD is equal to, you will shift this, then it will go up. So 1.8 into this 7.2 down, then the denominator will go up divided by 5.4. Right. So now here in the denominator, we see here, this is the next answer we are searching for. So in the denominator, we see here one decimal. So we may as well multiply by one zero down here so the decimal will move and get removed. So let us use this for this one. The decimal move right become 18. So AD equal to 18 into 7.2 is still there. Centimeter divided by here. One zero will shift this decimal to the place right side one, so this will become 54. No more decimal in the denominator, that's what we're trying to do. So nine six are 54, nine twos are 18, two threes are six, and three twos are six, one in hand, three fours are 12. So this is 2.4. Second answer, AD is 2.4 in figure two. EC is two centimeter in figure one. This is what the question is asking. So that's the last, Question we have done now. Now you can go and give the test 6.2b. Okay, that's it.